Welcome back. One of the crucial aspects of Chandrayaan-3 was to identify the errors that cropped up in Chandrayaan-2 and make amends. ISRO says that enough redundancy has been built into the system, both software and hardware, to ensure that there's enough margin to deal with any last-minute changes that might occur. Since September 2019, it almost broke the hearts of the entire nation. We saw the lander crashing. After that, ISRO got back. How's the journey been, sir, over the last nearly four years or so for this entire team at ISRO? Basically, these uh, last four years, the tremendous work have been done. Hmm. And uh, the, the first and foremost one was that in the Chandrayaan 2 hmm. landing uh, phase, it was not successful, whereas the orbiter mission part is successful. Yes. The lander portion was not successful. And from the data what we gathered hmm. during that time, that uh, data was analyzed uh, very thoroughly, hmm. understood what really went wrong. And uh, now for each uh, problem what we observed, hmm. now the corrective actions have been taken. Hmm. So, and also not only that one, some wherever the margins are less. Hmm. So, the robustness level was increased hmm. so that now we are going ahead last four years. All the, these works are done very thoroughly, meticulously. Hmm. And uh, then uh, the tests have been done very exhaustively and uh, ensure that everything is intact. With this confident, now the ISRO is going for the next mission, Chandrayaan-3. Hmm. Sir, uh, ISRO has spent a lot of time looking at what went wrong with Chandrayaan-2. What went wrong, sir, according to you? Uh, things that you could explain to the common man. Uh, uh, basically, that uh, there are some few things, not only one problem. Some hmm. few things were there in that one. Hmm. One was this, uh, the, the proportion system hmm. was uh, the, the dispersions in the proportion system hmm. in certain region of the flight was more than what we expected. Hmm. That means in that the total landing phase, we had that four phases. One is a rough braking phase where hmm. the maximum velocity has to come down. Yes. Then that uh, the, the attitude hold phase, hmm. then uh, fine braking phase, then landing phase. Like hmm. that four phases are there. Hmm. In the rough braking phase, this uh, the propulsion system worked very nicely without any problem. In the attitude hold phase, hmm. yes, that time also the propulsion system worked very nicely, hmm. but the dispersions level, it was hmm. something sometimes more than what we uh, assumed before hmm. flight. Hmm. This hmm. was one problem. Hmm. And uh, because of these dispersions levels were more than hmm. expected, hmm. The, the guidance software was not able to handle it is properly. The Chandrayaan-3 mission, especially the launch, is inspiring hundreds of young minds and also perhaps will ensure that many of them get into space science and contribute to India's space journey. How exciting, how inspiring is this? Sir, uh, like, it's beyond our imagination. Just like, this a man-made thing which is going on Mars all by itself, discovering everything. And we just control it from where we are finding every resources possible and we are getting it. We can find numerous things on Mar uh, Moon and it can be a base for our future expeditions. So this is actually very interesting and exciting to have this experience as school students and as we are really young, this can be really inspiring and we all can aspire to uh, uh, take our career in the science path. As for the, as for the six payloads, uh, I, I mainly like the rover, because the rover named Pragyan, because it is the one which is going to do most of the research on the, on the moon. It's going to last for 14 days, which is one lunar uh, yes. day, and it is going to do all the research and uh, uh, provide, prove the knowledge, provide the knowledge to ISRO. So space is a vast, vast subject, hmm. and there's ma ma much many things which are not explored, and it's beyond our imagination. There are many things that we don't know, and it's 
it's wonderful experiencing and exploring all of them. We can say that ISRO and NASA are really collaborating and even we can take an example of SpaceX and many other aerospace companies which are providing humans and accessibility to go to other planets and other moons for research purposes and like we need a lot of resources as well. The launch has been successful and hopefully the victory run will continue over the next year or so when ISRO goes in for the ambitious Gaganyaan project and also the collaboration between NASA and ISRO, the NISAR project is likely to take off. In Sri Harikota, with camera person Sarvanan, Harish Upadhyay.